What's going on everyone? It's the All Give Me Blog here playing Black Ops 2. Now I want to talk about the War Z drama that's been going on for the past few days. Now for the ones who don't know, uh, the War Z is basically a zombie survival game. Um, kind of like DayZ, but it, it's, it improves some aspects of the DayZ that we all wish it were there, but they're not. Now the drama that went first and foremost is... Um, the game went on Steam, showed up on Steam. And the, the first thing that, that people started to, start to notice or started to complain immediately was um, the description of, of the game on the store page. Now, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves. Um, the game is no longer available to purchase, but the page is still there if you guys want to see. Now, there was false advertising in there, claiming tons of claims that there were in the game that just didn't weren't in the game. Uh, one of those claims was that, that the maps in the game were 400 square... Uh, kilometers. Um, people reportedly said the game is not even 10 kilometers. So, claiming that it's 400, 100 to 400, it's ridiculous. Um, another big thing that they, they put on is they they were basically selling the game as a full game, and the game is not it's not even in beta stages at this point. It's still in alpha. It's not a finished product. Not even close to it, and they were basically just just selling it as a full product. So they lied about that. Now, people that went on the Steam first to complain after purchasing the game, and and that obviously regret regretted it, that they felt you know, uh, you know, people felt um, cheated on, and, and they they felt really that that developers were lying to them, which is what they were doing. So they went on the Steam forums to let other people know not to buy the game and also to express their concerns about the game. So what do the developers do? Well, they basically remove any posts and ban people that said anything that was not good for the game. Anything at all. Any bad criticism on the game and it, it the user would be banned and the post would be deleted immediately. Another thing with the game is obviously people wanted refunds uh, for that crap game. And yeah, I say crap because ask anybody that bought it, thank god I didn't. Uh, and they said the game is boring as hell and... It, well, it, that's... you know, if it's in alpha stages, of course it's gonna be boring. But anywho, uh, they said, okay, if you guys want refunds, don't do it from the Steam store, go do it through our website. Now, by doing it through the website, you are agreeing to the terms of service. You're forced to agree to, to the, their terms of service, which uh, basically state that you will not take any refunds. Now, this in itself is bullcrap. It, it is utterly not... It, 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 this is illegal to do. And I think they, they have dropped that as well. Now, obviously, after hearing so much stuff on Reddit and... Tons of other websites, Paper, Rock, Shotgun, uh, my blog, I haven't put anything on my blog yet because it was so many, I just thought I made a quick video about it. Um, after people obviously complain in other media, because you cannot silence people, you can ban them from the forums and, and delete their posts on the forums, but you cannot silence people, their word is going to be spread out regardless. And it has been, it has been spread out through, there's so much media nowadays, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Reddit, uh, I don't know. Uh, websites, forums, there's so many mean you cannot silence everybody and if you try it's just gonna get worse for you. So obviously they responded to all of this and, and clearly some blogs did um, interviews with them and what they said was basically not that was a half-assed apology, it wasn't even an apology they basically just said you know you guys just read it all wrong that's not what we meant and it's all your fault for not reading it right and yeah, so, so basically they didn't really apologize, they're just very unprofessional and very, very stupid in my opinion. So the update is the game has been removed from Steam now and that's it, you know, it's no longer in there. Steam took care of, of the developers and whatever. So yeah, that's it for this video guys, sorry it's so short, but... Um, yeah, it, it's only the video footage I had. More videos are coming in the way. And thanks for watching. Peace.